Hello. Hey, Chris, you watching the game? Uh, not yet. I seem to be having a little reception problem here. Oh, that's too bad. I told you, you should have gotten a satellite dish. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh man, this just went into overtime. Gotta go. Bye. Good old Persis. Loves to brag about her new satellite dish. But she brings up an interesting point. We've always had one problem receiving any radio or TV signal. Interference. There's always something in the way. A building, a mountain, even the curvature of the Earth. The solution has always been to build bigger and bigger antennas. And that's all a satellite really is. A giant antenna that's so high up, nothing gets in its way. We all know there are satellites orbiting the Earth. But how do they stay up there? Why don't they just fall out of the sky? Well, the truth is, satellites are always falling. The only difference is that instead of falling into the Earth, they're falling around it. Imagine I took a gun and from a very high vantage point fired a bullet. What would happen? The bullet would travel a certain distance, lose its speed, and then gravity would pull it to the ground. But if I could give the bullet enough energy so that it could travel beyond the Earth, then when it started to fall, the Earth's surface would keep curving away from it. And that's basically all we do to get a satellite into orbit. Except with a satellite, we use a rocket to give it enough energy to escape from the Earth's surface where the gravitational pull is the strongest. But it doesn't travel straight up forever. It bends and begins to move parallel to the Earth. Gravity still tries to pull the satellite towards the Earth, but if it's traveling fast enough, its forward velocity balances the gravitational pull and it starts to orbit. So you've got the satellite into orbit, but there's one problem. To receive a television signal, the satellite has to be pointing at you all the time. But if the satellite is orbiting around the Earth, the signal is going to keep disappearing. Well, lucky for us, if you place a satellite 36,000 kilometers away from the Earth, the speed at which it has to travel to maintain its orbit keeps it exactly equal with the rotation of the Earth. So even though the satellite is hurtling through space, to you on the ground, it looks like it's just sitting in one place. And that's why your receiving dish doesn't have to track the satellite, because the Earth's rotation is doing the job for you. There's one last problem. Satellites in orbit have to rotate around the center of the Earth. Well, so what? Well, it means that if we put a satellite up directly over Canada, your TV signal would disappear each day because the satellite would have to cross over into the southern hemisphere. So any satellite whose orbit crosses the equator is useless for television. And that's why every television satellite has to orbit around the equator. So if there are all these satellites orbiting around the equator, how come they don't collide with each other? Well, because it's a lot more ordered up there than you think. Every satellite has its own reserved parking spot in space. And if you could look far enough out into space, you could see them lined up across the sky. Back down on the ground, if you know the satellite's parking address, you can point your receiving dish at the right spot in the sky. So how come satellite dishes are all the same shape? Well, it's because they're all trying to do the same thing. They're trying to collect as much signal as they can from the satellite and focus it at this receiving antenna here in front of the dish. Because of its bowl-like shape, no matter where the signals strike the dish, they get reflected into the center. And by concentrating the weak signals into one strong signal, you get a better television picture. Are you going to do this or what? It's freezing out here. Mark, you must be referring to the weather. Nice segue. You see, orbiting far away from the Earth is great for a television satellite because you can beam your signal to a huge area. But if you want to, say, forecast the weather, you need to get a much closer look at the Earth. We've all seen satellite weather pictures. 
They're produced by satellites orbiting about a thousand kilometers above the Earth. Now, the lower its orbit, the faster a satellite has to travel to avoid being pulled down by gravity. So a low-orbit satellite has to travel at about 27,000 kilometers per hour, compared to about 11,000 for a television satellite. So do satellites just orbit forever? Well, they could, except eventually they run out of gas. You see, each satellite has little rockets on board that are used to make small corrections to its position. And these rockets require fuel, so after about 10 years, the fuel gets all used up and the satellite has to be retired. Low-flying satellites just drop out of orbit and burn up as they enter the Earth's atmosphere. The high-altitude television satellites get one last burst of energy from their rockets, which causes them to break their orbit and become space junk. Ten seconds left in the game. Johnson back to pass, hooks to the end zone, and... What happened? It was a great game.